Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of my Tailwind CSS mini series. Now, in this video, we are going to be talking about responsive design in Tailwind. Now, um, for those of you who do not know, responsive design is generally uh, designing your websites, or at least, you know, in our context, designing websites so that they look consistent or look somewhat good across all sorts of different uh, devices. So, for example, your website should look consistent on a phone versus on a computer versus on a TV. No matter how big or small the screen size, it should look at least somewhat consistent. Um, now, if you are not familiar with the basic kind of concepts of responsive design, um, you can check out my episode in my introduction or my introduction to web development tutorial series uh, where I talked about it over there. So yeah, I'll link that in a card in the top right. And um, so yeah, if not, we can go ahead and just get started. We're gonna open up our index.html um, and then I'm gonna save this and uh, I already had the live server running previously, but I will rerun it here. Hit the go live button. As you can see here, uh, in the last episode, we left off with this little nav bar here. Um, now we're actually going to use this code for our uh, kind of current episode. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, basically just as a quick recap though, we have our nav um, and then the UL is a flex, flex container and then all of the allies inside are the flex items. Um, and pretty much that's it. And um, here we are setting the margin left. And then of course, naturally, uh, if you're not familiar with flex, you can check out my CSS flex tutorial series, but um, setting a margin left of auto on any of the flex items will automatically push it over to the right side, like we've done here with the contact and shop. So that's how we're actually splitting. We're just setting the margin left to auto for the contact, which is pushing a bunch of margin here in this white space. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we did in the previous episode. And then for this episode, like I said, our concept will be responsive design, applying styles based on our screen size. So um, to kind of assist us in this task, I'm gonna open up the docs um, right here. And we're just gonna search for responsive design. Um, and as you can see, there are a couple of classes. There's really only kind of one concept or one main concept in Tailwind for this. And you basically apply styles with these prefixes, SM, MD, LG, XL, and 2XL. And um, every single one of these breakpoint fixes, uh, breakpoint prefixes will basically say, apply this style if the screen size is greater than um, X. So, you know, just, just as a quick, you know, recap to what I just said, in order to apply a style, uh, a responsive style, you can use these prefixes and you basically plug in the English. If the screen is bigger than SM, then apply this. And SM means a minimum width of 640 pixels of the screen itself. Um, so I'll show you what that means. So uh, for now, let's go ahead and just create a simple H1 to kind of demonstrate a basic um, to demonstrate a basic kind of uh, responsive layout. So we're gonna give it a um, text LG to make it pretty large. Um, let's just give it a f uh, font light. So by default, um, as soon as this, uh, oh yeah, let's put something inside. Hello world. Um, and I'll actually make it just, uh, let me just quickly remember how to font size. Um, what's bigger? Oh yeah, just XL and 2XL. Okay, so uh, 3XL, uh, like that. Okay, so we have this big hello world here, and notice we gave it a font weight of light, which means it's pretty thin. And um, just to demonstrate, we want to make it so that the font weight is actually bold on small screens. So um, the way we can do that is we can put an SM colon in front of this font light here. And that again is kind of demonstrating, as you can see, there's an MD colon here. And by putting this, when I save it, notice nothing changes. And the reason why is because when we put SM, we are saying apply font light if the screen is bigger than this SM or if the screen is small or up is basically what it's saying. So um, this basically means apply it to every single um, screen size. Now I'm gonna change this to MD. Now um, you'll notice although right there um, that it does this. So just to kind of, to keep with you, um, this is a medium screen size. I've just made our window bigger and this is big enough to constitute a medium. So basically now our code is reading uh, set the font light or set the font to light when 
we are at a medium screen size or bigger. <clears throat> and what happens is when we go to a small screen size by making it smaller, the font light goes away. And to kind of just further exemplify this, if I put an SM colon font dash bold and save this, now notice our hello world is bold. And when we up, when we make our screen bigger, um, and as soon as it crosses that or crosses that threshold, specifically MD, 768 pixels. So I'll show you right here. I'll, I'll demonstrate it. Um, so look at this little top right kind of tooltip. If you can see, it, it like pops up showing the, the dimensions of the screen. So 768 pixels should be when it crosses over. Um, and actually, okay, I guess there's a little bit of a discrepancy. Um, so, you know, we, we're going to actually just disregard that for now. But um, the, the, the gist of this is showing that when you're on a bigger screen, anything big, it's light font weight. But once you make it smaller, it becomes bold. And to show you the code that actually makes that happen, we say on a small screen, set the font weight to bold. But anything medium and up, MD and means medium and up, set the font to light. So again, that's how we're applying some basic font size or you know basic responsive styles. And if you can see here on the documentation, um, it says CSS here is a media query. If you're not familiar with the, or if you're actually interested in learning how Tailwind CSS is doing these uh, responsive style classes under the hood, you can check out my um, responsive style episode in my introduction to web development tutorial series where I went over how media queries work. So basically that is how we can um, apply kind of selective styling or I'm um, sorry, responsive styling. So I mean, let's just go ahead and quickly make use of this uh, just to kind of try to uh, make sense of this. So we have our uh, nav bar here and what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna make it so that on small screens, the nav bar is normal, but on medium screen, or I mean on medium and up screens, the nav bar is normal, but on small screens, the nav bar is actually going across the left side of our website. <clears throat> so basically, uh, in order, if you recall, to make the kind of thing go across the left side, we have to say flex call. And if we do that, it will, um, oh, actually, that's going to mess up everything a little bit. Um, okay, so instead of margin left, we would need margin bottom, margin bottom, and margin bottom. And by doing that, we would get this like kind of vertical um, nav bar. So we have to change the margin left to margin bottom, as you can see, and we have to change, we have to add the flex call kind of thing. So to get this to work properly, again, we want it to look normal here, <clears throat> but when we make the screen small and when this text goes bold, we want to actually um, make the nav bar vertical. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and come right here and let's build in these responsive styles. So naturally, we want to only do it on small, where we want to set the flex to call. But on everything medium and up, we want to set the flex to row. So by default, again, it's small right now. But as soon as we make it big, it'll look back normal again. And instead of margin left, we only want to do this on medium and up. Same thing with here, medium and up. Same thing with here, medium and up. But on small and up, um, we want to make the style margin bottom for margin bottom auto and margin bottom four. So if I say this again, nothing has changed, except now if I come here and make uh, the website smaller, notice our nav bar automatically becomes like, um, becomes like this. And again, these uh, classes are basically the way we can do this. Um, and now that I'm thinking, uh, there actually is a small difference. Uh, these classes have margin bottom by default. And again, notice that's because whenever we put a size selector like SM, we are saying on everything smaller and up, make this style. Um, and actually, so in order to fix this uh, kind of implicit margin bottom, because notice uh, when I come here, there is uh, a bottom margin of four here. We can actually say on MD, um, margin bottom is zero. And then on MD, margin bottom is zero. And finally on MD, um, margin bottom is zero. Um, and whoops, I didn't, I shouldn't put a space there. Perfect. So now notice the hello world is back like right under the buttons. 
So what we're saying here again is on medium, remove this margin bottom, but when it's small, add it back in. And that's how we can get this little responsive kind of nav bar, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty much all I had to show, just a pretty short episode, uh, kind of showcasing all of the responsive design uh, or the way to do responsive styles in Tailwind. If you um, want to see more videos like this or specifically on Tailwind, you can check out the playlist, which is linked in the description, where I'm uploading daily. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications whenever I post new videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.